Hi, this is Matt from tracymat.co.uk and for unboxings.com. Here I have the Panasonic Lumix FX500, which is one of the higher end Lumix models from Panasonic, which we're just going to have a quick unbox before we actually look at the camera itself. Uh, so on top we have a CD-ROM with uh, your camera software, USB driver and ArcSoft. Uh, I have a series of manuals, warranty cards uh, and that sort of thing in there. Camera itself is packed just there, which we'll look at in more detail in just a second. There is a battery charger, uh, which requires like a figure eight style cable, uh, and the battery obviously just plugs in there. There's the mains cable itself. Then we have USB cable which uh, isn't micro, it's uh, I think pretty much a proprietary USB to uh, USB cable. Then we have a video out cable which is uh, just mono with uh, composite video uh, again that uses that same uh, USB style connector to plug into the camera. And there's this plastic piece here that uh, I don't really know what that functions as at the moment. Uh, this holder was what the battery was in and uh, that's pretty much it for what's inside the box itself so if we look at the camera in a bit more detail let's say this is the FX500 we've looked at some other Lumix models in the past but this is sort of the higher end model um, with a 10 megapixel sensor and a 5 times optical zoom forward facing flash there obviously as you can see so the back portion of the camera is actually dominated by this uh, previous screen which is actually 3 inch diagonal which gives you a really good view of uh, what you're taking pictures of and also previewing and reviewing your photographs which is, which is excellent. Um, fairly basic controls really on the back, um, we have a switch to switch between um, record and play mode, there's a mode button, a display button, there's this up down left right style navigation which helps us navigate through menus and a Q menu button. These also double up as a delete button, um, one for your flash control, one for your macro control, timer and uh, actually the white and uh, balance control there. Um, but fairly basic in terms of actual buttons. Um, the reason being for that is if I actually turn the camera on and uh, which is a really what is a really nice feature in fact is that the back screen is actually a touch screen. So this allows us to actually access all the menu controls um, and settings actually through the touch screen um, which is actually a lot more intuitive doing things that way. Now if I just put this object in the field of view there and uh, I've actually got into a touch mode so that if I then press on that particular object um, if you can see there as I move that object is tracked in the preview window so basically what the camera is doing is it's using that object as its focus point so as I move around it actually keeps that object perfectly in focus which is excellent if you're actually trying to focus on a person or a particular object in the field of view especially for action shooting and things like that so that actually will track that object in focus which is brilliant we can just cancel out of that we have the backlight control there and then we can go into the different modes we've got intelligent auto, program AE, manual aperture priority, C modes all that sort of thing and we can actually record videos but as I say this is all accessed through touch screen so you've got different settings back to intelligent auto auto again you can use all the camera settings here for timer and you can turn display features on and off so you can actually show uh, screen divided into thirds which is quite cool and then you can turn off all these other bits and pieces just with a few clicks and all the other settings around the outside and on the right hand side of the camera we have all the connectors so we have the USB connector we have an external connector for power I'm not sure what the other one is it's all oh, that's your component video there your digital video there uh, and your DC in and out a little strap hole connector there so you can actually connect um, a wrist strap or like a lanyard strap As you can see on the front with the camera turned on the lens is stuck out slightly um, and it does move as we change the zoom so that's five times zoom and that's uh, basically one time zoom so it moves in and out and you'll notice obviously that retracts and the lens cover closes when you turn it off you'll see it extends and opens when you turn it on on the bottom 
is where the battery and the SD card goes, which will take SDHC uh, up to 16 gig quoted in the spec that I have here. And obviously you can actually connect to a tripod and then a controls that are on the top for the on-off and then a zoom control. There's actually a little speaker there, um, which is what you hear when you push the buttons, but also for when you're actually playing back any motion videos that you've uh, taken with the camera, you can actually hear the sound back, um, which is actually a nice improvement. Some of the earlier Lumix models, although they could record video and actually did record the audio, you couldn't play back the audio, um, but obviously this model can. In terms of the rest of the spec, I'll just do a quick rundown. The actual uh, sensor is actually 10.7 megapixel CCD, um, but it's actually quoted as being 10 megapixel. Five times optical zoom. There is a digital zoom built in, should you wish to use it. You can record at 4.3 as well as 16 by 9. Um, obviously you lose some of the some of the area if you record at 16 by 9. ISO sensitivity, well it's set to auto at the moment, but it will do 100, 200, 400 and all the way up to 1600 ISO. Auto white balance as well as a manual white balance. Program AE, exposure compensation in one third steps. Backlight compensation, uh, auto AE bracketing, um, obviously built in flash which can be done set as auto red eye and on forced off and forced on. Self timer for 2 and 10 seconds. There is a built in 50 meg of memory but that's not really, you know, that's not really going to get you very far. You're obviously going to have to use that memory card uh, if you want to take any you know, 50 meg will only take a, you know, probably a couple of dozen at the most uh, photos on there. There's also face detection, uh, scene detection, you can set travel dates, um, all sorts of different things on there. Uh, we'll talk about it in a bit more detail when we come to do the actual review, um, which will be online on the site fairly soon. Um, if you want to see the review, head over to tracymac.co.uk and if you like our unboxing videos, why not check out unboxings.com.